Ay, ay. Um, at this point, when it comes to building my personal brand, I want to engage with as many audiences as possible. The message is the message. The message of building a brand and using social media to further that is not gender specific. It's not cultural specific. It's not geographic. It's not demographic. It's not financially dependent on anything else. So, I mean, it's going to be interesting. It's like definitely the first time that like I've been put out in a new market in a new way. His podcast? Yeah. Yeah, it's super uh, question and answer driven, which I find is interesting and great because with these types of podcasts, you don't have to come with like an agenda or like have a message. And a lot of times people want to be on podcasts with, with people who have very large audiences because they have something to sell or they have something to promote. And I feel like at this point, I just feel like free, like, sure, I have social curator and I've Insta 180, but I don't need to speak, I don't need to speak to his audience about that. Like I can just go in and talk about adding value and adding benefits to their life. And I think I'm... Oh, what? Oh no, it's just a behind the scenes like... Basically. Oh wow, okay, yeah. cool, cool. I'm a hugger. That's all mine. I'm a hugger. Oh, my. my pleasure to meet you. I'm glad you're I'm here. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. <laughs> Masterminds. I'm doing two masterminds this year, which people I know people think it's crazy, but to me, I wow. understand that I'm not investing. I'm investing and trusting that the person who's leading it, like in your case right. yourself, you're a good curator. Yes. You're gonna bring the right people, and I will say when that. When you say right people, you talking about the guests or the other people in the, the room? The other people in the room it does teach a little, but they bring in these great guests. But the vast majority, like 70% of the time, it's you talking during lunch, dinner, right. like picking brains. People being, oh, that worked there, that did this, okay. and I feel like that's the value. You think I think that um, we're doing our interview now, so I'll do that. But, <laughs> but it's interesting because the your group seems to me almost everybody in that group. And Lewis and I were Lewis was here a couple weekends ago. We spent the day together, so he told me not everybody in your group's in this, but the majority are sort of social media influencer, life mm -hmm. strategy, thought leader types in mm -hmm. your deal. Is that mm -hmm. true? Mm -hmm. Whereas ours is like one guy's a CEO of a lumber company in Australia. The other guy, the woman's a a lawyer in New York, like we have this very, uh, that's why we have 2,000 people. I'm like, maybe we need to shred it down to people in in one or two business arenas where they can serve each other. Like, what's this, What's a lawyer in New York gonna do for, you know, a fitness expert in Pennsylvania, you know what I mean? Well, it depends. I think that the, 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 the thing that ties Lewis's group together, regardless of the disciplines, we have like a fertility specialist, there's a chiropractor. Okay. All of the tying thread would be that we all, use and leverage social media, yeah. but specifically we're launching products online. Okay. And so a product strategy that would work for one of my launches could absolutely work for a fertility okay. specialist okay. when it's reframed. Okay. And so I think sometimes just putting really brilliant people in the room, okay. you find a way to connect and see which conversations do you want to have. Do you have one that's like, can you inspire me? Can I mean, you teach me? Like, I want her selling it. I was really private. I didn't have any public life at all. And then last May, just through a series of horrible conversations with me and Tony, I decided to set up an Instagram account. This is May. Wow, it's not even a year. No, like nine months. Oh my god! So it's a, I'm fastest growing by a mile ever on this. Yeah, you but, have so many followers. Yeah, and engagement too. Like yeah. this video got fifty thousand yeah. views or something. So it's just bizarre. But so I never intended to monetize any of it. Okay. I've done it all for free. I've never run an ad. I've never run a Facebook ad. Jeff's laughing at me. We literally just hired a dude to run our first Facebook ad ever. Okay. So it's all organic. Your page looks awesome. So how are you? How are you monetizing now specifically? Yeah. So you still do you still do your photography stuff for the weddings and all that? I do photography, but I uh, create stock photography for small business owners. Gym, but I'm going to post a picture of a palm tree because I want my workouts next week when I'm in Hawaii to be there. I started with like boom, this audience. No, the problem was no one was on social media in my company, including me. Only the last like two months have they started to get on. 
none of them know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of this content will go great for them. But also, none of the biggest complaint they have is I have no footage to post. Yeah, okay, so we're going to flow. Sweet. You dropped out of law school, right? I did. We'll probably start there. Yeah. Is there anything when you were younger that is necessary to the conversation, you think? I feel like it, if it does, it kind of just like unfolds later okay. in a conversation. Okay. Um, but law school is a great starting point. Law school dropout. Welcome back to Max Out with Ed Milet. I am so fired up about today's program because what we're going to do is going to directly affect your business and in your life because to my left, this wonderful woman here is a social media strategist. She's an expert when it comes to social media and helping you grow your following and your platform. So Jasmine, this is Jasmine Starr, everybody. Hi guys, how are you? I'm so excited. I'm Thank excited you, too. Thank I'm, you. I'm Thank so, you for this. so fired up. And I was telling Jasmine that if our on-camera stuff is even half as good of what we've been talking about off-camera, this is going to change your life. We're going to bring be, it. We're, we're going to bring it in. She, I mean, let's go. Let's, let's, go. Go. let's go. Let's get to the meat. Okay. Let's go. I love it. I love no. it. All right, let's, let's do that then. Thank you. Let's start. Let's talk a little bit about you first because okay. I think they have to have a context for this amazing following that you've already built and I want them to know why you can help them so much. So. I want to go all the way to kind of your adult life almost, okay. right? Because like a lot of people watching this, Jasmine was kind of living a script yeah. and was chasing a dream and that dream sort of ended and she had the courage to make a transition to really chase her real passion, her real gift. And mm. so you were in law school, right? I was. You were. And I started this day, this interview, and they didn't know what to expect. I'm gonna be honest, I was really nervous. Like we pulled up and all I just felt was like this cold energy. Like I was, I was sweaty, is that TMI? I don't even care. I was so nervous. My stomach was in knots and I felt like I was walking into a space that wasn't my own. And I like that. I like being hungry. I like being unknown. And the fact that this man so warmly welcomed me into his home with this amazing conversation. And there was a point in the conversation that I had to tell myself in my mind, bring it together, bring it together, bring it together. Because I felt like I, I was talking, but I wasn't myself. And then I realized that in order for me to stand in my purpose, in order for me to convey the thing that I wanted to convey, I had to be me. And I feel like for people who are walking into rooms that you feel like you don't belong, for people who don't have the right words, or for people who feel like you might be in the room, but you're not finding your cadence, find the cadence. Tell yourself whatever you need to say and understand that your voice and your message is so unique. And at the end of the day, what you think is normal, other people are listening to and being like, this is really valuable. And at the end of the conversation, Ed said, I appreciate you breaking it down so simply. I appreciate you showing up. And I thought to myself, what was so simple was so powerful for his audience. And in that moment, the message and what I had to say was enough. 